Let's get right to it, guys, because this is a serious story. Protesters storm a Sacramento City Council meeting. The video shows the anger and outrage that members of the community are feeling. It's over the death of an unarmed 23-year-old black man, Stefan Clark. He was shot 20 times by police. Stefan's brother chaotically interrupted the City Council meeting and demanded change. The chief of police got my brother killed. He Enough. doesn't care. He shows no emotion at all. at all. Tell him we don't hear him talk. He's not the mayor no more. And the city council meeting ended shortly after. And demonstrators again blocked the entrance to, to the city's NBA arena, preventing fans from entering the Kings game. Nonetheless, the game did start, but at the, but look at the stands here. Pretty empty. They, the people obviously oh. couldn't get into the stadium. Oh. Now, is this disruptive behavior or a good message that was sent? Uh, I think w when your brother is executed the way that his was, you can do whatever you want. It's weird how quickly people are, are uh, how quick people are to tell you how to protest. When when NFL players silently took a knee, never said anything about this exact same thing we're talking about. That w there was a problem. People, I'm turning it off. I'm not watching. You know, I don't like the way they're protesting. But when people get upset when a man is murdered and they st and they they walk into a, a city council meeting and and ref and make sure that they're heard, then this protest is okay. So just do me a favor. Tell me how I can protest mm -hmm. because I can't kneel quietly and I can't yell. Mm -hmm. So you tell me. You tell me how to protest. And how, what's the difference between the Parkland protests, what the students are doing, and this? Because when black people are yelling on TV, people get nervous, let's be honest. But also, and I will say, it's also, that's an organized Parkland shooting. This did disrupt a council meeting. I have to say, I, I agree with Al on this one. It was not only a huge deal that it was 20 times, that it is extreme in itself. But during the news cycle in these times, you've got to keep mm. going. And we've seen black men get shot, and no one remembers the next day. Mm. So if you want to make a point, he kind of has had to go viral to keep us talking about it and at some point that is civil disobedience. And again, I want to again compare it to the Parkland because it would have been forgotten just like the other shootings. I don't mean to compare the two but the movement. Yeah. Right, you're exactly what I'm talking right. about. You have to make right. a, a stand. I think we talked about things going viral and the idea that you have to do something just a little bit more and when you're talking about black people especially coming together and demonstrating in this way and Al says when black people get together like that people get nervous. Well of course they're going to get nervous because we've already established that your skin alone is the weapon. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're going to establish it that way then if you start to really demonstrate mm. then it's always going to be a problem and the fact that they did it at the Golden One Arena is not going unnoticed and we'll talk more about that um, during the break. Thanks for watching Daily Blast Live. Did you know that we are live on YouTube every weekday for three and a half hours? Did you also know that we upload exclusive new video like crazy? Stuff like breaking news, celebrity interviews, viral videos, new apps, new food, new perspectives on the world we live in right as it's happening. So please subscribe and check out some more videos. Go ahead. We'll wait.